Hey everybody, so what we got going on today is I've got these lettuce plants I started a couple weeks ago from seed. They've been in mason jars with some pretty weak nutrient water. So they're getting big enough. I'm going to move them over into a bigger container and they'll be going into that storage tote right there. We've got to drill some lids in it and add some water and add some nutrients. So we'll get to that in a little bit here. So what you want to do is just drill until this starts to grab just get this middle drill through the plastic and forward and then if you keep going forward it's just too much torque to hang on to without breaking the plastic or hurting your wrists so once the initial drill gets through put the drill in reverse and then drill it backwards and it'll chew its way through Just like that. Okay, so we got our lid. I skipped ahead and drilled all four holes in it, but now we've got all this plastic from the drilling process. You got to get rid of it, and there's a whole bunch inside the tote, too. So you want to clean all it out. There's a whole bunch in here that got a couple of the plugs from the drilling process. Got to get those out, wipe it all out. Wash it out if you want. I've rinsed this out prior to doing this, and so I'm just gonna wipe all the plastic and the other dust that's collected in here out. So to calculate how much nutrient mix I need, my concentrate that I've shown in another video how to mix up, it's designed to mix at 13.33 cc's per gallon of water will give you, for each half, part A, part B, 13.33 cc's of each, it will give you a EC of 2.0. With this lettuce, I only need a EC of 1.2, so I need to mix it at a 60% strength. I've got a 15-gallon tote, but I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm only, I only need 12 gallons of water in it. So normally, for an EC of 2.0, I would need 160 cc's of concentrate. 160 cc's of A and B. But at 60% strength, I only need 96 cc's, but I'll just make it easy and round it up to 100. So based on this math formula, I need 100 cc's of part A and 100 cc's of part B. Okay, so after doing some math, we know that we need 100 cc's of part A of the concentrate. If you have any questions on this concentrate, check out my other videos. I've got one that details how I make this up. So I'll need 100 cc's of this and 100 cc's of this. Now, you don't want to just add them both in together. So what I'll do is I'll put some water in the tote and I'll add my 100 cc's of this and then add some more water, which will help stir it up. And then before it's full, I'll add 100 cc's of this and add some more water and top it off. So when you add your water, you want to make sure that it doesn't fill up the net pot completely. You just want it just into the bottom of it. It sounds kind of counterintuitive, but if you come up all the way, the plants will drown. They've got roots up towards the top that absorb oxygen, and if they end up underwater, the plants can't breathe properly and they die. So you We've got a good base on our roots here, so there's plenty of root to get down into the nutrients. So we just want the water just to the bottom of that. So now we'll check our EC level. So this is an HM Com-80 meter. I picked it up at a local hydroponic store. I had a cheaper one that I dropped in a total water, so I just ran up, picked one up locally. So, and it seems to work pretty good, so let's see where we're at here. Not sure if you can see that, but it says that it is an EC of 1.2, so we're right where we want to be, perfectly. So checking the pH, we're a little high, we're at 6.9, so I'll have to put some pH down in this and let it set for a little while and stabilize and get it down around that 6.0. It's 
You always want to check the pH after you put your nutrients in because your nutrients themselves will lower the pH and you don't want to end up too low. But for whatever reason, my well water tends to be pretty high. Quick look on Google and it says we want our pH for lettuce to be 5.5 to 6 and we're now at 5.5 after adding some pH down to it. This stuff's kind of a pain because there's no instructions on how much how much to add to water to get the pH that you want or any type of ratio or anything. So I just add a little bit and stir it up and let it set and just keep doing that until I get to the number that I want. Okay, now we just take these guys, take them over here, take it off our little adapter ring and drop it in and then we wait uh, I'll probably add an air line with an air stone to help oxygenate the water and keep it moving. It tends to help things quite a bit. Um, I've got a fourth hole that I originally started four seeds, only three of them germinated. The other one isn't quite ready to come in yet, although it probably will. Oh, it looks like two seeds germinated in there now, that figures. So something I'll do until this fourth plant is ready to go in is I'll take one of these foam plugs from one of my other videos. I'll put it in a nut cup and drop it in this hole right here so that way light can't penetrate through there and start growing algae down in my nutrient mix.